Business Brain, episode 453 for Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. (music) Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take our business brains and apply them as a filter to all kinds of things in our lives to help get us new perspective and really to help us make it a little bit easier for each one of us to lead that charmed life. Sponsors for this episode, which will also help you lead your charmed life, include checker.com slash business brain. That's C-H-E-C-K-R dot com slash business brain. Fast, comprehensive background checks, and you can save 40 bucks on your first one at that URL. And then uh, found.com slash brain, which is business banking that tracks your expenses, Helps you find write-offs, tracks your income, all kinds of cool stuff. We'll talk more in depth about both of those in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. Hey, and out here in Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean. How's it going, man? You know, I grabbed a seltzer to have while I, you know, while we do the show, because I like to remain hydrated. It's either tea or, you know, seltzer or whatever. And first of all, seltzer is probably a bad idea because it's carbonated and it messes with me. But, um... I'm fairly used to it, but like the side of this can is covered in like something sticky. And so I Uh, opened it up while the theme music was playing. And it's like, now I've got to do the show that way, but it's totally fine because (laughs) you know what, man, I'm a hustler and I put in the effort. Yes. I get it done no matter what. Yeah. That's, that's, that's critically important. We mentioned this last week. We were talking about effort and whether or not, you know, uh, you're born with this concept that of, of always hustling and always, you know, really doing your best and above and beyond, or is it something that can be taught? And Nature as, or nurture? I think it's yeah, nurture a hundred percent for me. I don't, I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. My, my parents, uh, both like they weren't slackers, right? Like, you know, they, they had yeah. careers and, and my dad was always like, he had a good work ethic and it was just always just, you just do your best. You get it done. And, And then you, you know, you take responsibility for the things that you do and the things that you don't do. And so, but I, like, I, so I can't really say, like, it's impossible for any one of us to, to know that it was either nature or nurture, but I I don't know. I think I, the things that drive me to get stuff done are things I can think of like external factors, I feel like. So that's what makes me think it's, it's like nurture. Nurture. Yeah, Yeah. I I think that um, I I always think about it in related to my kids and I'm like, okay, how did they, are they doing this? Or they understand that you got to hustle this kind of thing. And I think they've gotten it over like by osmosis over decades of just watching my wife and I, you know, work, manage, you know, various businesses, uh, hustling at night so they could pay for their school, all these different kinds of things. But then I think, okay, let's say you hire somebody that didn't have that benefit of being in a growing up in an environment that has um, shown you what needs to be done. But but maybe I'm 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 also narrow casting it too too much. What if you grew up in the opposite, where you saw how life wasn't that great for your parents or something because maybe. They didn't have the education or didn't put the effort, didn't hustle. So perhaps that motivates you, right? Where Because so often you see uh, people that come from very um, affluent uh, lifestyles that don't, it it has the opposite effect. They just think, ah, everything's The money will always be there, right? Yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah. um, Yeah, no, I I think it's nurtured. Back and forth, right? Yeah, because I'm I'm thinking about somebody that that I know, uh, they're about 20 now, and they did not grow up with the influence of parents who who did anything like there was yeah. almost nothing happening. And they took this as like, well, wait a minute. If I want to break this cycle, it's 100 percent on me to make it happen. And they made sure they got good grades in school because they knew they needed to get accepted into, you know, the school's of the caliber that would provide all the need-based aid that they would require because they were, there was zero money for college coming from yeah, the parents, right, right. It, you know? And so 
they they looked at the path and was like, I need out. Like, the, you know, they painted the picture yeah, of the yeah. story they wanted to tell and then figured out how to get there. And they're on their path. I mean, they haven't graduated. They're 20. They haven't graduated from college yet. But they've done all the other things. Like, they got into the school that paid for their way and they are kicking butt at school and figuring out their summer jobs and their all their stuff because – their internships, all that stuff, because like that's their ticket. And without that, there's nobody's going to pave the way for them. So yeah, uh, you know, yeah, it's 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 interesting looking at both sides of it. And the question I have that I'd love to dig into more of is, can you you know effectively bottle that up and implement it into your work culture? Uh, or you know, you've got this limited time to connect with people that you know you at work for you. How, how can we use our business brains to instill that love of, you know, or whatever it is, the effort to make you hustle all the time? Hey, are you a business owner or manager? If so, listen up, because we've got something that'll make your life a whole lot easier. Your employees are the backbone of your business. Hiring people with the right skills that you and your team can trust is essential. So before you submit an offer letter to a new hire, Do a quick background check with our sponsor, Checker. That's C-H-E-C-K-R. Checker makes it easy to get fast, comprehensive results so you can hire with confidence. Just sign up, select a package, and start a background check. It's that simple. Access your online background check dashboard anytime to place an order, review results, and make a decision in minutes. Checker's advanced technology and proprietary data network deliver 98% of nationwide criminal checks within one hour. This means you can get the information you need quickly. But that's not all. Checker also helps take the bias out of the background check process to support fair and inclusive hiring. They believe in leveling the playing field for everyone. Best of all, Checker is commitment-free with affordable, pay-as-you-go pricing that is customizable to fit your small business's needs. No long-term contracts or hidden fees. So why worry about hiring when you can trust Checker? It's time to take the stress out of finding the right people. And you can hire with confidence. Sign up for Checker today. Right now, Checker is offering our listeners $40 off your first background check. Visit our special URL today to save $40. That's checker.com slash business brain. That's the word check and the letter R dot com slash business brain. C-H-E-C-K-R dot com slash business brain. And our thanks to Checker for sponsoring this episode. Here at Business Brain, we know that our brain power is best spent on running our business, right? Not on the annoying details of saving receipts, calculating our taxes, and categorizing expenses. What if there was something that could take care of all of that for us and free up more of our time? Well, there is. It's called Found. Found is a business banking app built specifically for the self-employed. It's all-in-one banking, meaning it comes with the smart tools you need to run your business. Manage your income, expenses, taxes, and invoicing all from the Found app. Even sign-up is easy. It's free and takes just minutes. Plus, if you spend $100 with your Found card within the first 30 days, you'll get a $25 bonus in your account. There's no commitment. Try Found today and see what a difference it can make. Head to found.com slash brain or use promo code brain to try found today. Terms and conditions apply. Found is a financial technology company, not a bank. Found's banking services are provided by Piermont Bank, member FDIC. Remember, head to found.com slash brain or use promo code brain to try found today. And our thanks to found for sponsoring this episode. All right. So we've talked about how we're hustlers. And I mentioned that I am motivated by external factors. I'm not entirely proud uh, to dig into this because, (laughs) well, because some of it's kind of ugly in a sense where I will think about someone who wouldn't do what I would do or wouldn't do the thing that needs to be done to, to like put in the effort. And that's what inspires me sometimes, not all the time, but like when I'm when I'm not necessarily motivated internally to do something, I think about, oh, well, that person wouldn't do this. I'm going to do it. 
to be better than them. Like that, and that's where it's yes. just like a little yes. bit ugly. I know it's, it's okay. a that's, human that's thing. Normal. But, but, yeah, yeah, it right. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mentioned to you, we were talking before the show about this topic and a really good friend of mine, very successful. And when I mentioned this, what I often see lack of effort and, you know, unwillingness to give up time and huff, hustle, really unwilling to pay the price to get where you want to be. His comment is always, you know, we need, it, 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 if everybody did it, it would be much more competitive and tougher oh, yeah. for us to be successful. And I thought, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of an ugly part of humanity, right? Or at I, least capitalism. <laughs> yeah, I, and I think that's kind of the the angle that I come at this with is like, okay, well, that person, and I, I you know, I I do often think of specific people, which is like perhaps the bad of part of this. All of us but, do. I know, no. but to, but yeah. in those moments, they really aren't it's not necessarily about that person. They're just playing the avatar for sort of the, the people who wouldn't put in the effort because I, I agree with your friend. And I often have said this, like if you're willing to put in the effort, you're doing more than 98% of the people out there. And that makes it easier for us. People ask, it what's does. the secret to your success? What's the, you know, or, or as I've said on the show, somebody brings you an idea and asks you to sprinkle your magic fairy dust on it. What is your magic fairy dust, you ask? It is effort. It is implementation. It's action, consistency. right? Consistency. It's yes. consistency. It's bullheaded persistence. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, it, like, it's it's all the same, well, but yes. Is, but okay, so let let's break it down for my my yeah. main c question is: Can we uh, instill this into you know our team, people that work for us, uh, even our business partners, if you know they need it? Uh, uh, can you bottle it up and and you know ways to do it? Um, and I think that for me, one of the best ways that I found to do it is when you hire somebody is. The, that conversation needs to be just baked in from day one, from even the interview about here's opportunity. Look, here's a here's a career path for you here. Here's how you achieve these things. I my my expectation yeah. isn't that you're going to stay in in this role, but just something that um, like from my background with technicians, we always had. Okay, you're being hired as technician level. Okay, level one, and here's how you make it to level two. And here's an here's how typically how long that should take you. And, you know, here's how you get to three. Here's how you become a supervisor. And I think having that conversation that uh, from day one, that there's this upward movement, not only is it available, um, but it's expected. But the expect yes, yeah. it's expected. And it's if you don't you know, we're not going to penalize you per se. We, I guess we are because other people are going to take advantage of that opportunity Absolutely. and hustle and, and get ahead. And whether that's their, t like moving from level one to level two required you to study on your own, take some certification courses that we would pay ah, for, and okay. re reimburse you for, but you, you know, that's on you. So when it comes time to the review, instead of, the way I look at it is you can go into review as an employee and ask for a raise, or you can raise yourself up and show that, look at these things. I have progressed. And so I'm, I'm worth more today yes. than I was the day you hired me and set my yes. current salary. So therefore Correct. it should be higher. Yeah, that's right. I, and so as, if you've given them this, this framework and this roadmap of uh, opportunity and expectation you, it goes both ways. You can either say, yeah, you're right. You're right. When you're doing this, you've achieved these things. Or you say, well, I actually, you, you know, he, these were on the table for you, but you didn't get these done. You didn't do them. Yeah. It's interesting. Them. I, I probably should do that. Um, or at least I should adapt that to my business or I want to adapt that to my business uh, to take the word should out of it because it's often a, a bad word. Um what I do, though, or what I have done thus far, is I tell people, hey, look, it, here's the job, right? And it's up to you to, right. to get it done. If you need help with something or you're hitting a wall, ask. And of course, maybe not of course, I 
work close more closely with people when they start than I do say at the six month mark or the one year mark. Like there's the expectation that you're going to be self-motivated. You're going to get your job done. But what I do tell people, and it's true is that a, I can be a terrible micromanager and B I don't like micromanaging you because if I am, it means I'm not doing the things I need or want to do to either keep the business going or keep the business growing or both. Right. And, and so I tell them it is up to both of us to make sure I don't become a micromanager of you. And if either one of us notices me micromanaging you, that's a problem. That's a symptom of a larger problem. And, and, and for whatever reason that may be plus just the sort of the culture and the environment of, yeah, we show up and we get our stuff done every day. I, yeah. I think kind of gets it like, but you do have to lead by example at, at some level. For sure. For uh, sure. It, right. Cause otherwise, but, it, but that's the same thing we do with our kids is of course they have a longer example period, right. Cause they grow yep. up with it, but, but it's that same thing of like, yeah, I'm not going to show up and just sit in my office and, you know, drink and sleep all day. I'm going to, I'm going to show up and like hit the ground running and I'm probably going to be here before you and after you. And that's okay. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe I have different right. thoughts on that, that, yeah. that on that part of it. But I think it's also important to point out like your kind of background has been more managing creatives, right? Mm-hmm. Which I think is is you have to have a different rubric. That's fair. You know, mine is yes. you know, mine are technicians, engineers, uh, you know, this salespeople and their motivations very different, I think. And so um and some people really thrive on laying out that that roadmap. Um, but you better follow through is, is one of the That's big really lessons. It. It's the follow I say. through. Yep. Yeah. If you, if they go through the effort and you don't, you know, do your part, whether that's more money, more responsibility. And a lot of it, I would, I would caution you not to always tie it, uh, to more money because a lot of it has That'll to do cost you a lot in the end. Yeah. yeah. And, and it doesn't always, that's not the thing that, that after a certain level that keeps people going. A lot of it is recognition, uh, collaboration, more opportunities to create a fulfilling uh, career for themselves and and that kind of thing. So don't just always tie it to, to a cash thing. Of course, that could be it for certain levels of employees, but I always used it to just some kind of measurement because otherwise it's very subjective. And I guarantee you, the employee has a very different subjective outlook on it than you do or their supervisor does. Or right. Their manager. Yeah. You can't, you can't just leave it up to them to decide it. There needs right. to be some external litmus test. And, and at least here with, for the most part with the people I've managed that, that litmus test of, am I feeling the need to micromanage you? Cause if I am, then let's look into why that is. I, you know, it's sure. like it, like in and of itself, that's my problem. But there's a reason it happened here, and so let's yeah, look at that. It's a good way to, do it, especially if you're starting off, to yeah. tell them, oh, if we see this happening, we need to stop and talk about it. Yeah, we, we need to figure great. out why. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why it's going? So yeah. I, I would love to hear, you know. Uh, techniques and tricks that you've used to ha- have you been able to bottle up this, you know, motivational high output uh, effort and, and teach it to your employees feedback at businessbrain.show. Um, share it with us so we can share it with our listeners and get entered to win a MacBook Air this year. Um, we would love to hear from you. Yeah, feedback at businessbrain.show, folks, and make sure to check out checker.com slash businessbrain and found.com slash brain. And hey, keep living that charm life, huh? See you next time.